I can actually just take this image and drag and drop it straight into my blog post. That's my first tip for working faster in WordPress. My next tip is if I copy this URL here and I go back, I actually, I can highlight it and click this to, to type it in, but all I really need to do is just highlight this, hit Control V to paste, and my link shows up there. As long as it has HTTPS and a link after it, I can go through and add whatever link I need into there. I copy google.com, I highlight this, Control V, and my link is there. I just have to paste it at the top of the text. My next tip is if I wanna get quicker, I can learn how to use some shortcut keys. So I go up the top right here to options, go to keyboard shortcuts, and actually learn what keyboard shortcuts that I have. Some of these are really handy, like save, undo, or redo your last undo. So if I do this and hit backspace, I can hit control Z to undo that. Or I can hit control shift Z to redo that. Also, sometimes there's just too much stuff here. So what I can do is go up the top right hand corner here, scroll down to preferences, and I can for one, I can choose spotlight mode, which only shows the one block I'm working on. So that way I'm not getting distracted. I can also go in and out of full screen mode, but I can go back into preferences and under panels, I can remove the panels I don't want. So if I don't use tags, I can turn that off. If I don't use an excerpt or discussion or custom fields, I can turn on and off the ones that I want. Now, sometimes I have to do disable and reload. So I click that. Now when I reload, there's less things for me to be concerned about on here and anything I click on is the only thing that'll pop up. I'm gonna add in a block here, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I can just go straight over here to the left, but there's just all this stuff and it's just way too much for me to choose from. So I go again, back over to the top right hand corner and down to preferences, to blocks. I can choose to turn off the ones I don't want, like this one. And I can just go through and deactivate a whole bunch of them. This time I'm gonna add a block. There's a lot less confusion for what I need to do. But what happens if I've got a bit of a, a template like for top lists or something like that? So I've now got a page layout that I like to use for all my posts. So what I'm actually gonna do is just select everything. I'm gonna click here and go create usable block. Reusable block, I'm gonna say, Wade's top list template, click save. Now to be safe, I'm going to right click, convert to regular blocks, so I don't change it by accident. But I'm actually gonna exit, create a new blog post, and now I'm gonna to go to add, and type in template, Wade's top list template. And then I click here, convert to regular blocks. And now I have something I can further customize. I can change this heading, can change these items and again I can drag and drop and replace this image I've had a template for my entire blog post ready to go another option is to remove this altogether I go plus browse all and other patterns I can actually have well, there's all these pre-designed blocks that I can use so again I can add this in and then underneath I can add more and I have all these layouts I can use right within WordPress. Once again, I can change these, drag and drop yet again. So I can get entire layouts pretty much straight out of the blocks there. And if you've got too much content on here, you can go to these three lines and actually cycle through the entire page to find what it is you're after and nearly even highlight the blocks that you're working on so that's pretty cool you can also choose select so instead of actually clicking and typing you can go through and select items instead of typing a lot of people don't actually use that or you can go to details if you want to learn more such as how many words and characters you got and it has a document outline which you can then still click and visit the area so if I decide to go here, I want to go to open spaces, it'll take me down there as well. My well, final tip is about structuring your post before you write it. So I'm typing here, intro. And as I'm doing that, I can actually give these headings. So I make that a heading two, 
I can add in my image. And then if you know you're gonna have 10 items, just select all three of these. You can simply hold shift, click the first item, and then holding shift, click the last item to select them all, and then just duplicate. Or if you remember the, the shortcut key, control shift D, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then at the end, conclusion. And then again, it's just a matter of going through and editing those items. So instead of typing one big 3000 word post, you can type in a 300 word intro. And then you can type in 10, three or 400 word miniature articles for each item. And then again, your outro. So that's another quick way to sort of get things laid out. And like I said, once you do that, you can drag and drop items into here. If you want to link off somewhere else, just copy and paste over that text and uh, you can start writing very quick. It's always good to have a layout to start with because you can then simply go through here to see it says first item, first item, first item. If I rename some of these items, it's very easy for you to go down now and find the martial arts heading the baseball heading, the hockey heading, and simply move down from there. Pretty straightforward. So those are just some very quick beginner tips to write faster in WordPress. Just little things you can do that just take a lot of the clicks and the steps out of it, which doesn't seem like a huge deal, but when you're putting in that much work, these little tips will help you to work faster. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more videos on WordPress, I have a ton on my channel. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon and have a great day.